Okay, welcome back for more of Rob's rants and rankings. Um, got bags under my eyes. Pretty tired tonight. Uh, how y'all been doing? So, uh, didn't really go through too many of the comments, but I do want to make note of one. And apparently, I am a bore. To which I say... Why are you watching? But I'm not here to, you know, do cheerleading and jumping jacks or act like some stupid part of the YouTube youth who sounds like a used car salesman. I'm here to just bullshit, share some thoughts. So if you're bored, I don't care. Anyway, so we're going to get on to this week's topic which is going to be the best Kiss Alive albums. Now, I mean alive, not unplugged, not Live 35. I mean the four. Alive 1, Alive 2, Alive 3, Alive 4. Remember? All right. So I got some criteria on this. I will go on the record right now saying I like all these albums. So let's get that out front right now. No hate. No distaste. Uh, but like everything else, like I said with the list, there's a best and there's not the best. This is strictly my opinion. This is not based on sales, impact, or what it meant to you because it was what you got into KISS with and all that good stuff. None of that matters. I'm judging this strictly as me today, which album has the most songs that I prefer as well as sound quality for me is big thing because I'm not a big live album fan really uh, I think Kiss does it really well uh, when they ad lib things or change up the way things are sung it's generally for the better versus the studio the only other one I can think of that I really absolutely love is the Priest Live. It was from the, the Turbo era. They're another one where the live versions are just as good, if not better. But a lot of people um, listen to a lot of Sirius XM, and that would be Classic Rewind and Hair Nation for the most part. And they'll play live songs, whether it's Doc and Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, I mean, even on the the classic rewind things like uh brian adams or whoever uh, the live one i'll turn them off because they change them up they just don't do the song justice they don't add any energy to it or any nuances to it that make it better like kiss does like priest does so sound quality is going to come into it as well as how these songs are presented live um, <clears throat> yeah, so other than that, I'm not putting any emotional attachment to this time period-wise and, like I said, impact-wise or what's sold more. I don't care. So we'll just start out first, and I'm not going to rank these yet. I'm just going to go through each album in case some of you aren't, like me, knowing the stuff off the back of your hand necessarily all the time. So with, uh, let's see... Alive 1, we've got Deuce, and I'm going to rank these songs to, if they're on the good side, it's because I really like the songs. If they're on the bad side, it's because either I don't like the song, or I've heard it too damn much. And then there's a neutral category, which is going to be, eh, some days I'll enjoy it, some days I don't. Okay, so... Deuce, do not like. Strutter, do not like. Got to choose, love it. Hotter than hell, love it. Firehouse, do not like. Nothing to lose, love it. Come on and love me, love it. Parasite, love it. She, do not like. Watching you, take it or leave it. 100,000 Years I Don't Like, Black Diamond, Take It or Leave It, Rock Bottom and Cold Gin, I both love those, and then Rock and Roll Night and Let Me Go Rock and Roll, I don't like either of those. 
Now, Rock and Roll Night, obviously, out of live is a great song. I've just, I don't care if I ever hear it again. I've heard it way too much. So keep in track there. I'll get back to them. We'll go to a live two. Uh, yeah. All right. So we've got Detroit Rock City, King of the Nighttime World. Love them. Ladies' Room and Making Love. I don't like these songs. Love Gun. Awesome song. Calling Dr. Love and Christine 16. Do not like these songs. Shock Me, Hard Luck Woman. Take them or leave them. Beth, I do not like that song. God of Thunder, I Want You, depending on my mood. Take them or leave them. Shout it out loud. Love it. So let's move on to the next, which is Alive 3. And we've got Creatures of the Night. Awesome. Deuce, hate that song. I Just Wanna, Unholy, and Heaven's on Fire. Love these songs. Watching you, again, like on a live one, depends on the day, take it or leave it. Domino, do not like that song. I was made for loving you, I still love you. Love them. Especially I was made for loving you on a live three is, they took all the disco out of it, made it just a heavy damn song, and it's really, really something I love. Rock and roll night, again, don't ever want to hear it again, so it went in, they don't like it. Lick it up, love it forever, take it or leave it, take it off like that, I love it loud, take it or leave it, Detroit Rock City, love that, God gave rock and roll to you, take it or leave it, and the Star Spangled Banner, don't want it, don't like it, not that I don't like America, not that I don't like Bruce's version of it, or anybody's version of it for that matter, doesn't belong in a rock show. Belongs at a sporting event. It's a waste of two to three minutes. You could have done something else with. So, don't like it. <clears throat> and that brings us to the Alive Four Symphony. Okay. So Act One, we've got a bad start for me. Deuce Strutter, let me go rock and roll. Can't stand any of them. We got Lick It Up. I like Calling Doctor Love. I don't like. Psycho Circus, awesome. Act two, this is now with the symphony ensemble, just a small portion of it. And uh, Beth, can't stand it forever, take it or leave it. Going blind, don't like it. Sure knows something in Shandy, love them. Then we move on to act three with the actual entire symphony orchestra. And this is strong for me. We have Detroit Rock City, King of the Nighttime World, Do You Love Me, Shout It Out Loud, all awesome. God of Thunder, like before, Take It or Leave It, Love Gun, Love It, Black Diamond, Take It or Leave It, Great Expectations, I Was Made for Loving You, Love Them. Rock and Roll Night, although on this performance, if you're watching the video, it's fabulous it's hilarious with the orchestra guys and gals dressed up in makeup and jamming and headbanging while playing their classical instruments it's, it's a good time still don't like the song anymore played too much so <clears throat> to recap a live one i had seven likes seven dislikes and two indifference so Kiss Alive 1 is my fourth best. Throw stuff at the screen, shut the video off, do whatever you got to do. I get the you know history of it. I get how huge it was. I get all of that. But going on what I'm going on, for my own personal preference of songs and production and everything else, plus the, the sound and production on it is as far as listenability on a really good stereo it's kind of tinny don't really care for that so that is like it or not my fourth best kiss alive album ah uh, let's see where are we at here shit i got behind okay so my next number three kiss alive too 
I had six likes, five dislikes, and four indifference. This album isn't necessarily fair to be judged against the other since you are lacking an entire side, that side four being studio tracks, so you got less material to go off of. Um, but to me, I mean, the sound the, the sound quality was a little better. Um, you know, whether it's piped in or not, the the uh, crowd and, like, the explosions were much more a part of this. Um, I, I, I just wish, with all of these, if you want to do the solos live, great. I get a lot of people like to do that. Like I've stated before, that's pee breaks for me. I don't need them on the albums. And they all, well, I don't think Symphony does, but... One, two, and three is, is got crap on there that shouldn't be on there. And, and you know, the four-minute solo for Peter Chris and Ace Freely is like, ugh, you're wasting space. Put more songs on. But, yeah, so that comes in at number three. Uh, my number two favorite Kiss Alive album is Kiss Alive 3. The sound quality and production on this kicks ass it's thumping double bass if you got a killer stereo in your car your house or whatever it just blows the other two albums away for song quality the songs are way better i had nine likes four dislikes and four indifference but it just felt to me everybody says it, oh, it felt like you're at a kiss concert when you're listening to kiss alive i I wasn't alive then. Well, I was, but I wasn't, you know, going to be going to a, you know, a Kiss Alive show when I'm, what would I have been, three, four? But this feels, Alive 3 feels like you're capturing the Kiss experience. Absolutely love this album. Loved it when it came out. Um, so, yeah, this, this list pretty much is going in the order that I was reviewing them, which is in numerical order. It's just Alive, Alive 2, Alive 3 is how they came out. I like them in the reverse order. Number four, of course, the last one left, and I am going to get some nasty comments on this, I am sure. Actually, I can't say that. I don't really hear anybody talk about it. It's like the Forgotten Alive album. I don't hear many people talking about it at all. But I'm going to go off of the, the video for this, which was phenomenal, and the sound production, which was awesome, and the songs on it. I had 11 likes, 7 dislikes, and 3 indifference. But this show, to me, I thought it was so cool. I like in a live album, you get kind of three different atmospheres. You get them, you know, totally kiss unplug or plugged in without the symphony. Then you get kind of a, a ballad -y, almost acoustic set with just, you know, a few of the symphony ensemble. And then you get the full-blown orchestra. I, when I heard this was coming out, I didn't really know how this was going to work at the time. Nobody, Metallica hadn't done it yet. Not many people had, especially in the metal scene. But man, was I surprised. It is so cool hearing the power of that orchestra along with these Kiss tunes. The explosions. Uh man and i hear it all the time all the garbage about great expectations one of the greatest moments of this entire alive four experience is when they bring that children's choir out to sing great expectations it was just it, i don't even know how to describe it it was just one of those things that just hits you in the heart i just i thought i couldn't stop smiling seeing those little whippersnappers rocking their kiss makeup how you can't like this song i'll never understand it i'm not going to get in that argument i absolutely love it and this made my day that they put this on here um but everything was such power with that symphony it was just absolutely mind-blowing for me especially when i did not think it was going to impress me at all but uh yeah so the order they were released, one, two, three, four, obviously, but I like them, four, three, two, one. 
Now, again, I like them all. They all have their strengths and weaknesses. But based, again, on the number of songs I prefer versus the, and the sound quality and, and just the whole experience of it, that's the way I see it. That's the way I like it. Uh, feel free to comment. Tell me what your favorites are. I have a feeling anybody who does comment, it's going to be a live one. But, you know, that's cool. That's fine. That's especially with the, 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 the fans that are older than me, you know, so where they were maybe closer to a teenager when a live one came out. I get it, you know. But, uh, I, and I did. I loved a live one and a live two. Even when I was a kid, I was, of course, playing catch up. Uh, because obviously when those came out, I was, well, I got my first Kiss album, I think, when I was five. That was Destroyer, but that's because my brother had it. And then I, you know, started going out and buying albums. And, of course, when I was five, it's already 1978, so I'm backtracking and getting old albums. But that, you know, Live 1 and 2 were awesome. I absolutely loved it. I, like an idiot, used up my tattoos in Alive 2, and I've since found a copy of Alive 2 with the tattoos in it. Loved the booklets. Loved sitting there pretending I was watching them just by, you know, the pictures on it and the books and stuff while it's playing because obviously at that age I wasn't able to experience a Kiss concert yet. So they were awesome. They really were. But as technology progressed, the recordings got better, and it's no secret to anybody who's seen me on this channel I experienced KISS first with makeup for several years and I was old enough to watch MTV when they took it off so all the years before that I knew only makeup KISS and I was one of those kids who loved everything KISS every song was awesome nobody could say anything bad about them of course now that I'm older more mature less stubborn I can honestly say that they have many songs I don't like but uh I always kind of preferred the the 80s Kiss. I'm sorry. It, it is what it is. I, I'm someone who loves melody and harmony and danceable music. And headbanging's great. And that hard, gritty guitar stuff is great. 70s rock. But I don't know. Anyway, is what it is. Uh, I appreciate, again, everybody who's watching and those who have subscribed. Appreciate you. Uh, this one took a little longer for me to get out. I'm sorry. Crap kind of got in the way. Uh, been a little busy. Of course, I had to mow the damn lawn today. Life. Life happens. So anyway, I have not decided on a next topic. If anybody has any ideas, I always welcome comments in the comment section. I read them. I got alerts every time I get one. I try to reply to everybody, or at least give you a like if I'm busy. But uh, yeah, if you got any ideas, let me know. It doesn't have to be KISS-related. could be anything. Uh, it's just my solo gig. Me and Darren did get, finally, a uh, new episode of Speaking out of, t uh, out of Turn up. If you haven't seen that, check that out. That's our favorite female singers or female bands. Um, rock and metal, not pop, because, Jesus, that, that pop and country it is so vast of options, and we really don't listen to a lot of it anyway, but... Yeah, so Rock and Metal, we put that out. <clears throat> uh, check that out if you guys are bored. Other than that, until I can come up with something else, I think that's all I had to say. Hope I didn't bore you too much. Fucking loser. All right, well, thanks for watching, and until next time, take it easy.